All right, we're on the final point, uh, final session of Wealth to the Nations in module three in point number seven. And point number seven is a continuation of the blessing of the Lord. So let me just say to you, my friend, God bless you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Now I'm saying this from my heart and I want you to receive it in your heart. I'm saying, God bless you. Be blessed, my friend. Receive the blessing of the Lord. In Proverbs 10, 22, it says, The blessing of the Lord makes a man rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. Years ago, I was really struggling, really battling poverty and feeling it heavy on me. And uh, some friends of mine were in town, and um, they said to me, Joe, remember that it's the blessing of the Lord that makes a man rich. Because they saw me and struggling, and they could feel this yearning in the inside of me, this, this struggle, this pushing forward and trying to make things happen on my own. And they said, Joe, but it's the blessing of the Lord that makes a man rich. Praise God. So if you're blessed, you're empowered to prosper. Now I've said to you, my friend, I said, God bless you. And I meant it from my heart. God bless you. What that means is you're empowered to prosper. Empowered by God to prosper. And allow God's blessing to come upon you. See, the blessing doesn't come with sorrow. The blessing doesn't come with striving. The blessing comes with receiving as a son, as a daughter, the blessing of the Father coming down on you. Okay? I read to you before Genesis in chapter 1, it says, God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. That blessing continued. Blessings are spoken and blessings are eternal. Okay. Years ago, this friend of mine, uh, it was after a Wednesday night service, and we had a, Nancy and I had a bunch of friends over to the house afterwards. And as we were sitting there, me and this one gentleman were sitting over in the corner. Now, this gentleman, he's older than I, is, I, I am. And, um, he was driving a limousine at the time and um, not making very much money, struggling, really struggling to make bills, uh, and he didn't know what to do. So we got to talking about the blessing of the Lord, and I talked to him about how, uh, you know, even in the Old Testament, the Father speaking the blessing, how that really manifested and changed things and really caused powerful things to happen. And so as we talked about this, he said, I've never had that. No one's ever spoken that over me. And I, he said to me, he said, Pastor Joe, would you speak that Father's blessing over my life? I said, sure, I will. And so I began to pray. Just say, Lord. And I just, as I prayed, I just started to speak from my heart. And things started to come up and out of my heart that were blessing him and speaking to his future, speaking his future into existence, speaking that all provision that he would need would be made, and that ministry, he would be positioned in ministry, and things would come about that would cause uh, all the, you know, just all kinds of blessings in his life. Well, this fellow had a healing ministry where he would call people, he still does, but he has a, he would call, he would pray for people to be healed, and oftentimes they were, but if they weren't, he would call them the next day and minister the scriptures to them, minister and encourage them in the word. And then he would pray for them again. Then he would keep calling them every day until they were healed. Well, uh, another fellow in the church called me and said, or he had gotten hold of us and said, I think this would be a valid ministry for the church. He said, would it be okay if I gave a salary for him so that he could have a full-time position doing this? I said, well, that's a very valid ministry for the church to have a healing ministry. So this fellow paid for a full year salary for this guy to have, to have this. Now, how did this come about? I honestly believe it came out of my mouth. It came because I spoke this blessing over his life that things would be in order and that, that the provision would be there and he would be put into position. And it all happened, just like I said. So then years went by, and then uh, it came up to the end of that funding. 
and this fellow didn't really feel like he was supposed to continue in that in funding that and so I was then concerned oh Lord what about this family you know uh, and the Lord corrected me he said you spoke the blessing the blessing was how this came into being in the first place you don't have anything to be concerned about because words are eternal the blessing is eternal it doesn't stop so he said continue he said just let the blessing work and do you know what things have continued and all is well that family still provided for he's still active and doing exactly what god's called him to do it's a beautiful thing so what i want to do is i want to pray for you i want to tell you that the the bible and the scriptures is full of blessing for you and the blessings we, re re we receive through Jesus Christ, awesome. Jesus loves you, my friend. Jesus loves you so, so very much. He is so glad you came into his kingdom. He rejoices over you. You've made the Father's heart glad by coming to him as a child and receiving his love, receiving his salvation, and receiving his empowerment of the Holy Spirit. That is so good. God is so very pleased with you that you are his. And he finally got the desire of his heart when he got you. You're, you are the object of his desire. You know, Paul talks about, he said, I wanted to have ministry among you, and then I wanted it to be established, and then I wanted to have ministry beyond you. In the regions beyond you. Well, God loves you. And he has blessed your life and he wants to continue to bless your life and he has made all provision for you and he's he's made a bridge which is Jesus Christ to get from the the abundance over into your life okay from his storehouse to your house right now God wants to get beyond you as well so my friend I want to speak this blessing over you that you would be established. That financially, you would come into the place where you your needs are met and your finances are turning around. Okay? I want you to come into this place where you're meeting the needs of your family. You're paying your bills on time. You're getting out of debt. And then you move on forward and then you're being generous. You're being a blessing to others. And you're being established in a place where there's increase and there's more and more increase. That's what I want. And that's what I'm going to speak over you. So if you are ready to receive this, I want you to just close your eyes and I'm going to pray for you. Okay? So let's do that. I'm, I'm going to probably close my eyes too. Okay? But we'll see. Father God, we love you and I come before you right now on behalf of my friend who has been watching me for all of these videos. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I know you love them. Jesus Christ, we establish you as Lord of our lives. Holy Spirit, you are the empowerer. You give us the strength to move forward. Father, I pray for my friend that you would establish them. I speak your blessing over them that you would establish them. Establish the work of their hands for them. Give them the wisdom about what they are supposed to do. And Lord, I pray that all provision would begin to flow into their lives. The abundance that you have set aside for them would begin to flow into their hearts and into their lives. Lord, I pray for strength. I pray for courage and the ability to get up out of bed. I pray for wisdom. And Lord, I pray for divine appointments all along their path, that they would find that they're, they're coming into contact with the people who need what they are able to do. Lord, I ask you to bless them with miracles. Lord, line their life with miracles and blessings just to show that your glory is present with them. Bring financial miracles into their life. But Lord, I pray also that you would set up systems in their life that would be a constant source of your blessing coming into their life, your provision coming into their life. Set up systems in their life, whether it's employment or a business or hiring people or an invention, or a solution, or an idea. Lord, whatever it is. Most of all, Lord, I pray, and I bless my friend here, and I say that their future is blessed. I say that their relationship with you is blessed. 
I say that any demonic spirit that has come against them now is broken off and cast away. Heavenly Father, I declare that their life is and their body is covered with the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of this testimony. We are blessed. Say, I am blessed. Say that out loud with me. I am blessed. Say it again. I am blessed by Jesus Christ. Say, I am a partaker of the covenant of Jesus' blood. Lord, your blessing is on our lives. We receive it. We just thank you so much, God. We thank you for uh, the fact that it's the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich. And now the blessing is on us. Now the blessing is on us. We are empowered to go forward and to accomplish the purposes and desires that you have for us, Lord. Lord, we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We thank you we're blessed. Lord, I thank you that my friend is blessed. Be generous, my friend. Go love somebody. Go bless somebody. Go allow God to use you. There's great things coming. You know, we have more information for you on the website. And uh, if you need help, come and get help. Just get the help you need through the teachings that are available. And if you want to help us out, Help us out to spread this word, the wealth to the nations, to spread it around to others. Amen? Tell others about these, vid these videos. Come and get the help you need. My friend, you are blessed. And I so appreciate you spending this time with me. God bless you.